my dear children. In this episode, I want to guide you through the first step in a devout preparation for receiving our Lord in Holy Communion at Mass. The remote preparation. The remote preparation means truly thinking about receiving our Lord even while it is a long way off. We read in the life of St. Gemma Galgani that she would wake up in the night time, or if she would wake up in the night time, she would immediately call her mind to the fact that the next day she would receive our Lord in Holy Communion. And she stirred up a desire within herself for that moment of Holy Communion. That is a remote preparation. Brothers and sisters and my dear children, we need to be stirring up these same sentiments the night before we receive Holy Communion. And again, on the morning of Holy Communion, gradually stirring up within us the awareness and the devotion necessary to receive our Holy Communion with profit at Holy Mass during the course of that day. The remote preparation. Of course, this means being in the state of grace, having been to confession at least a week before Holy Communion, or certainly at least two weeks, so that you are able to avail of plenary and partial indulgences that canonically require you to have been to confession two weeks prior to Holy Communion. The remote preparation. Many saints had to go days and days or even weeks before receiving our Lord in Holy Communion. And for them, the remote preparation was something that was drawn out. And as they saw on their calendar the day of Holy Communion, oh, what joy they had. St. Margaret Mary Alloque, she was allowed to receive Holy Communion only a few times a month. And so with such devout longing, she approached the Blessed Sacrament. We need that same longing. We need that same preparation. The teaching of the Catholic Church is that everyone who approaches the Blessed Sacrament should only receive Holy Communion if they are fully averted, aware to the fact that it is our Lord there, truly present in Holy Communion. Your whole body ought to be involved in remote preparation, by which I mean the Eucharistic fast. The Church requires, commands that we do an hour-long fast, but remote preparation, true preparation for Holy Communion, will force you, will impel you to perform a longer fast so that your body hungers physically at the very moment in which you receive our Lord in Holy Communion. Almighty God will teach you how long your fast ought to be, but that there ought to be a fast that you feel and that you acknowledge. That is something that true preparation certainly requires. I have mentioned confession. I have mentioned fasting. I have mentioned waking up in the night and contemplating the reception of Holy Communion. Now I should also mention that remote preparation, according to St. Alphonsus, means that you should have prayed for half an hour before you attend Holy Mass, if you are to receive Holy Communion on that day. Half an hour remote preparation before Holy Communion. It may be that if you're going to an evening Mass, that half an hour will be, it will be earlier in the day. But St. Alphonsus is very clear that you need to have had half an hour of mental prayer during the course of the day before receiving Holy Communion. If you are to receive Holy Communion with the devotion that is necessary, the devotion that is fitting, the devotion that is required for you to draw greatest profit from the greatest of all sacraments, the greatest of all acts that a human can do, receiving our Lord in Holy Communion. Holy Communion must never become something routine. And so by a remote preparation for even daily Holy Communion, we ensure that Holy Communion is the centre of our life and not merely some extra. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.